So hello students, uh, in this video we will see the working and the program of HCSR04. If you confused, uh, this is an ultrasonic sensor that can be that is that can be used uh, with uh, the Raspberry Pi and also with Arduino Uno. So first uh, we will see the working of this ultrasonic sensor. As you can see, there are two uh, eye-shaped objects or uh, structures are there. Actually, this is this end sends a signal and this end receiver signal. Sends a signal means it sends uh, uh, the sound wave. Sonic, as you as its name clarify, it's working. This is ultrasonic sensor. It sends sound waves that ranges maybe 20 to 50 kilohertz that can't be heard by human ears. And this end receives a signal when the sound wave. Uh, reflected by any object that is placed in front of this it is received by this end and the distance or uh, distance and time measurement will be done by this program and the distance of object that is placed in front of this is calculated so now come to this pins structure there are four pins First one is for VCC current and ground two and two pins. First one is uh, one is uh, for trigger and another one is for echo. From this pin you can it sends the signal and then and from the echo it receives the signal. So now now we will see how will you how we will connect it to the Raspberry Pi. So for this you need jumper wires female jumper wire female to female jumper wires four numbers and now we will connect its all pins carefully make sure you don't break any of pins or bend it in this case it will stop working now it is connected now we will connect it to the Raspberry Pi pins. So first uh, take this VCC pin. As you can see VCC pin brown colored. Now connect it uh, connect to it. From on the first pin. For the 5 volt voltage, it will supply the voltage or current that is needed 5 volt current from this end. And now, another pin is trigger, trigger, connect to this end means the second last pin from this end as you can see here I connected VCC and then trigger now eco eco pin will be connected to the last one on the last pin here and the remaining ground you can use any of the ground of this Raspberry Pi pin I will use The third pin here it is completed. So, as you can see, the pin connection has been completed, and now we can use it by a program. We can take input and output and receive the output from the sensor using a python program so let's move to the terminal and we will see how we can use python code uh, to access this sensor so here i found a program from github and after a little bit changes now the program is ready to run but before we start uh, to compile this program on terminal 
we have to make a look on the pin diagram of uh, raspberry pi as many programmer and uh, students confused with arduino and uh, raspberry pi pins as in the arduino the pins number of pin or counting of the pin is very simple but the uh, pin structure of raspberry pi is little bit different different so now you can see here i import uh, rpi.gpio as gpio uh, this is gpio library and import time the time li library is also important as you can calculate the distance by the time consumed by uh, uh, receiving a signal so here is a i set a bcm a set BC, a gpio pin numbering this is the important thing many uh, students confuse with uh, gpio pins and uh, make a wrong pin structure or wrong, wrong pin connection so here uh, there is uh, this is a pin diagram of uh, raspberry pi so here you can see the first one is 5 volt second one is 5 volt so you can connect vcc of any sensor from uh, on these two pins this is ground this is ground and this is ground and also there is also a ground so here four grounds are there and 1 2 3 and three grounds are there if you connect a sensor with 3.3 volt current you can connect to and uh, from uh, this side so here sc05 sensor uh, need 5 volt current so i connect that vcc to this end on second pin now the number of pin as i connect the trigger and uh, eco signals pin to this end and this end so here the number of this pin is 20 and 21 if you count this this will 24 pin but number is bcm 20 and bcm 21 all the sensor that receive a data from a pin that pin connect to the bcm pins so here is bcm 20 21 also you can connect it to the bcm 23 and 24 and in that case you will write here 23 and 24 so here i write 20 and 21 so this uh, indicates this pin bcm 20 and bcm 21 this is the last pin of uh, raspberry pi last two pins but its name is bcm20 and 21 so here i declare trigger equal to 20 and eco equal to 21 as i told you i read it uh, the program according to our circuit and this and then here a uh, print uh, statement distance measure in progress and now gpio out and gpio in gpio setup is the uh, sub function in which we declare these two things and now i will uh, code uh, okay this the program is coded in in while loop as uh, now here is a eco equal to 0 if eco equal to 0 means the eco means the signal is not receiving when once the eco equal to 1 then the signal is received by the sensor now there is a formula to calculate the distance by the time consumed by receiving a signal back so here is the formula so you can receive up to 400 cm it it can calculate of distance of 400 cm by sending a signal means 4 meter so now we will run this program and check whether it is working or not now move to terminal
so our program is stored in git folder now i will go to git folder and then i will run it by sudo and then python and then my program name that is sc04.py and now as you can see it start receiving signal and calculating distance so i point the sensor to the roof side as you can see One seventy five point four two, one seventy four point four two means the roof height of my room is one seventy four point nine centimeter. Now I point this sensor to the TV. Now you can see. Twenty six point four two, twenty six point one. Now I move the sensor or point the sensor to another wall. It is two hundred and sixty nine point zero seven, two hundred sixty seven point three five. It takes a few seconds to settle down. Now it receive the signal and start showing distance. It is around two hundred seventy centimeter. now i point it to the downside as you can see there is a sensor i point it to downside and you can see it's showing 14 16 cm now i point it to that wall it shows 30 cm so it is working perfectly and the uh, the main thing and the best thing is you can find many program associated with many sensor on git library and you can edit these those program to according to your need or according to your pin setup and use it and use uh, this output you can use this output to any other further um, machine controlling so hope you enjoy the video if you enjoy the video please like share and subscribe my name is yashwant patak and you are watching yp tech thanks for watching